Sedona was a little girl, she was your typical little girl that loved princesses and dollies. She was a little feisty one, definitely from the beginning. She was like really happy and always running around. Me and her were always together, like in the backyard. It was always just me and her. Very playful, little, like a typical little girl, playful, running, hyper. Just full of life, happy little girl. She was, she was great. <laughs> My name is Jennifer, and I'm Sedona's mom. Sedona was born on April 9th, 2008, and she was born at 4:20 in the afternoon. She weighed five pounds, nine ounces, and 16 and a half inches long, and she was a healthy baby girl. She was a little feisty one, definitely from the beginning. Um, I remember she used to always, uh, just always give us a hassle, playing around with her toys, and she was, you know, always yelling at mom. <laughs> Same with as the other sisters, they were yelling at each other too, and. They're always feisty with each other. Special. Okay. Hmm, I love you. Careful. Look at those pretty cute flowers. Very playful, little like typical little girl, playful, running, hyper, carried her backpack everywhere. She loved to dress up. She loved to play outside in the garden. Um, she actually had a friend worm named Bugsy. <laughs> So what went through your head when the doctors had told you that she don't have cancer? This one sucks. Okay, just a second. That one gets me right It's just one of those moments in life where you lose reality. Um, when the doctor came in, I knew by his demeanor and how shook he was that something we were dealing with was bigger than what we were expecting at that point. And um, all that could go through my head was that she was a baby and why you were telling me my daughter had cancer when she was just a baby. So I repeatedly said, no, she's just a baby. from the beginning that we were never going to lose my sister. We knew she was going to be as feisty as she was since the beginning. I'm so I love you. I'm so good night to Haley too. Look at the camera. No? Okay. To be honest, I never really thought I, I never thought I was going to lose a sister. I knew she was going to fight off. Originally when we were at um, the first hospital that we started at, uh, we were being told that Sedona probably had a type of cancer called a glioma. Um, if anybody knows about those type of um, tumors, they are ones that you usually don't even operate on and you are pretty much sent home to live your best life. After that, we had made the decision as a family to move to a new hospital called Children's Hospital of Orange County, um, where we had met a doctor um, that we he felt as though um, Sedona had a fighting chance and that we should operate and that um, she may be able to survive this. And um, upon doing the surgery and the biopsy, removing and doing a full um, resection, uh, we discovered that she did not in fact have a glioma. She had something called ATRT, which is atypical rhabdoid teratoid. Uh, it's a type of cancer that happens in about one in 800,000 children, and your survival rate is below 5%. Uh, what was the reason why you guys had that surgery? Uh, to remove the tumor, it covered 50% uh, of the left side of her brain. 
after her main full resection, uh, a month later we started her first chemo and at that time she was three. And I can remember watching the first drop go into her vein and just literally saying, please God, save my daughter. We were released from the hospital the very first year and they said, she's cancer free, she's, she's not well but she's healing, so it's time to go home. At that point is when I knew that we were gonna have a very different life, but we were gonna have a life with her, and that you know we were gonna be a family again, and we were all gonna be together, and we would just keep going with whatever was put in front of us. When I found out that she had cancer, it wasn't more of like a shock, it was just like, we finally made it, you know? I saw that is I could see all my family together. She was home again. It could be just me and her again. Definitely not surprised. She was a little miracle child and it was coming. She was gonna be okay. March 18th, we got to take her home and she was very sick. Um, she threw up on an average 28 times a day. Um, she got meds about 16 times a day. We had to do full hydration and IVs and hang fluids every night for her and it was still full care, but she was home. <laughs> and even though those days were something what of a blur for me because I was became a nurse. <laughs> if I could give her anything, it, it would be uh, just relief, I think. It's just anything to uh, calm her mind, I feel like. Uh, it's just constantly going. It's something that she just needs a break from. It'd definitely be like a weight lifted off Jen's chest so she could get a service dog so she could be able to, you know, make dinner in peace, run to get the mail in peace, run to use the bathroom, and not having to be so worried that something's gonna happen to Sedona. Um, I've looked into having service, um, a service dog. Um, it's a lot of money. It's, um, something that takes a, a proper trainer to do. It takes a lot of timing. Um, it's, it, it, I, I feel as though it would benefit me in the way of a security. Um, it would help me know that even though, you know, I'm cooking or I'm, I turn my head or I, you know, whatever it is where my eyes aren't always on Sedona, um, that I would have that, that friend there with me that would be like, hey mom, <laughs> I think Sedona needs you right now.